my name is Casper Vlogs, and today we are going to be watching that chick. You guys remember this chick? She basically said that she is the R word towards white people because they're not cultured. We have a new one for you guys, all right? This is by Lives a TikTok. If you guys don't know who Lives a TikTok is, you guys are living under a rock. Basically, she finds all these wacky wackadoos on TikTok and posts them in their natural habitat so they can expose their own hypocrisy, all right? And this is one of the chicks she's bad guys. So basically, she, basically before she was talking about white people, now she's talking about men shit, except trans people. Now, I actually recorded this video already, all right? Uh, it was like 15 minutes, so I was talking to an unrecording screen for 15 minutes. So um, this was gonna be a lot shorter, guys. But I'm still getting the key points that matters out, all right? Let's get to it. Maniac for that trap <laughs> comment section needs to stop yesterday i posted a tiktok responding to this question i read these two i'm not reading them again and one of them was if he wouldn't date a trans woman red flag and my comment section basically said why why should he have to do it basically what he said all right you get the idea i can't put them all because there's too many i'm not reading Let them me all break either. this down trans women are women so if you're heterosexual and you're a man and you said you wouldn't date a trans woman because it's a preference that's just transphobia so the key part I want to take from this, transphobia doesn't exist, all right? A phobia, it doesn't exist, all right? People aren't afraid of trans people. That homophobia, no one was afraid of homosexual people. They just thought it was un, uh, unholy, right? They just, they just said that it was unnatural. And on a biological standpoint, considering that we're here to reproduce, they would be somewhat correct. Now, I'm simply saying this. You cannot, let's just say they were. They were afraid of, of trans people and, and homosexual people, for that matter. You're going to blame someone because they are literally born that way. They cannot change a phobia. It's like getting angry at someone who has arachnophobia. Yes, that's a real thing. People, women mostly, are afraid of, of spiders. You cannot shame and get angry at someone for being afraid of like heights. Like, you're afraid of heights? What are you, a bigot? Like, see how dumb that sounds? No one's afraid of it. It just shows that the power that be and how how good they are at indoctrinating um, Americans and primarily women. Cause mostly women are into this stuff like astrology and all these other signs and spells and stuff like that. Mostly women are into that type of stuff because that gives them hope, so they can't actually take accountability and live in reality for their own bad choices. So the point I was trying to get, I explained this really really well, but I was talking to a screen that wasn't recording, <laughs> so I'm gonna try and make this get straight to the point. My point is that it is very dumb, all right, to say a phobia of, 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 a, of a criteria of people. It's stupid, all right? That's ultimately the point I'm getting to. It's very dumb, and it just shows how easy that, like, the powers that be have these people mind work, man. These, these people's minds are ravaged. The majority of the time, our preferences are rooted in something problematic. No, it's not. It could be trauma racism transphobia the list goes on if you want to find out what your problematic preferences are click the link in my bio no, thank and watch you. this video i am now going to take you all through an example this person asked why it's transphobic to not want to date a trans woman already starting off on the wrong foot by referring to cis women as regular she said already going off on referring to cis women as regular women how about we go with and i don't believe in cis women all that dumb stuff it's just women real women a a biological woman is a biological woman. A biological man is a biological man. Now, you can play Halloween if you want to, and a man can dress up as a woman, but you cannot blame heterosexual men for wanting a biological woman and not men who look like women, not men who dress up like women. It's a Halloween costume. When you put a Halloween costume, are you really them? Are you identify them? Are you really Captain Jack Sparrow? No, you're not. You're probably still a loser that makes like 30K a year. All right, not to crap on people that make 30k. I'm just simply saying, compared to Johnny Depp, we're all losers. So, no, you're not Captain Jack Sparrow. You're still the same guy who's put in a suit. All right, or a costume is what I mean. So, you cannot get angry <laughs> at men for wanting to date actually, actual real women. All right, you can play the game, you can push his dick in, but it's still a dick, and a vagina is still a vagina. You cannot change the biological structure of the human body unless you, you start playing God. 
And humans aren't at that level yet, at the air will be at that level yet, where they can change the biological makeup, all right, of a human to be a completely different gender. And so they can do that. I'll say it's a real woman, but they can't. So it's a man playing Halloween. For women, that says something about trans women not being able to carry children. If that's your sole reason for dating someone, keep that same energy for all the women who are infertile. Oh no. Yo, in my she really went there. Hold up. She really went there. She said she comparing men to women that are infertile, women that cannot have children. She's comparing men to women that cannot have children. That is one of the most effed up things, dude. That's messed up. I'm surprised that she's still even on TikTok, that she can even spread that type of hate. Cause that, that's hate speech. I'm not gonna lie. You're comparing, so basically you're saying all women that cannot have children are men. That's basically what you're saying. That's what she just said. You cannot compare the two. One is a man. One is a woman that cannot have children. Completely different things. Completely different biology. All right. One's an actual woman. One's a man. Men can't have children. It's like saying a man that, that has small balls. He doesn't have any testicles. Isn't a man. He's still a man. He doesn't have balls. The same with a woman that can't have children. She's still a woman. She just can't have children. She can't do one of the. The biggest, she can't give one of the biggest honors to a man, which sucks, that's terrible. But she's still a woman, dude. Like, what? Like, what? Like, that's messed up, man. That's messed up, even to me, and I have a messed up sense of humor. That's messed up. Like, don't, come on, man. It just shows that the power that be, man, they, they, they want people to get messed up in the mind. And women are most susceptible to this, because most women believe this type of stuff that men can be women, women can be, no, they can't. No matter how hard you want to try, they can't. They want men weak, they want women insane. If you make women insane and men weak, men run over women. And if women do not have leadership, they turn into chaos. It's just facts. Look at the most heinous crimes are done by women when, when they actually have power. All right, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna get into it, but it's, do some Google searches. Look at the most people kill, look at the most heinous crimes done by women, all right? This is why it's so important that men are strong. Men, have, men must take the burden of, of depression and, and, and take all the bullet shots and, and get treated like crap and build up on himself and, and have trauma and all this stuff. Men have to endure that to protect women because women are protected, they end up like this. This is why I'm so big on this. This is why I'm so big on women need to, to value themselves and do all this. That's why I make these type of videos. Women need to take care of themselves to find a man that's of value. And a man must go through these hardships to protect a woman, to protect her purity, to protect her chastity, to protect, you know, to, to keep her like that. And if whether you guys like it or not, you guys are gonna hate me for this, but women are just big kids, pretty much what they are. You need to, the same way you need to protect a child from the harsh reality, realities of the world, you need to do the same thing to a woman, because when a woman actually experiences the harsh realities of the world, two things happen. You end up like this chick where she lives in La La Land, where she's completely crazy and hate men. Or two, she becomes a bad, terrible, terrible person. Usually when men go through hardship, they become, they become better people. And men that haven't gone through hardship, they are terrible people because they can't control their emotions. It's really, really important that the balance isn't tipped. And right now, it's very tipped. People are out of the natural order. This is why America is such chaos. This is why I make these videos. Women shouldn't be fat. Men shouldn't be weak. It's, it's insane to me. It's absolutely insane to me, man. And that's why I make these type of videos. You guys may hate me. I know I lost some subscribers. I lost like eight subscribers, but I gained like 40 on my last video about that uh, belly chick. But it, it was worth it. I know I'm speaking the truth, and I know I'm helping people at the end of the day. I've actually helped people. Literally just like two days ago, I had a woman message me on Snapchat saying I really helped her out. I help people. I save people. That's why I make these type of videos. I wasn't always this way. I haven't always worked this hard. I've learned that when you when you give yourself a goal, and you're not just living. You have something to live for, not just your family and all that crap. Talking about actually in yourself and you actually set personal goals that are hard to accomplish. You do something to live for. It makes you a better person. It makes you value things much better. Where you just live it. I work. I live, I buy, I consume, I live, I buy, I die. Like, who wants to live that? That's a terrible life to live. It makes people depressed. This is the exact reason why I do these type of videos. This woman's insane. I'm hoping that you guys really see how insane this woman is. She's trying to tell, just the two things I took from this, women that cannot bear children are men. And she wants men, heterosexual men, to sleep with other men that play Halloween. Okay, it's messed up. That's my final thoughts on the video, guys. I wanna know what you guys think. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys like, comment, comment, help me get my video out there. And there's so many other comments.
Well, further ado, that's gonna be it for the video. Remember, I'm not arrogant. I'm just confident. And thank you for watching.